Hi, this is Chad with NoviSign, and today we're going to talk about what digital signage software is, and uh, we'll go, go over a quick high-level overview on um, how you can use it and put things together to send information to your screen. Um, in a nutshell, very high level, uh, digital signage software is a cloud-based interface that you can use uh, any computer, laptop, um, or Mac device um, to access and put together the content that you're sending to the screen. Uh, you could put together any series of templates that would display your information, so videos, YouTube, slideshow, images, scrolling news, tickers, stuff like that. Um, you could put together in your layout. Um, you can then schedule it in the format of a playlist and then send it to your screen. Now let's quickly go over high level how um, you can use digital signed software and the steps that you would take to put together your content. Um, so here to get started, I am on NoviSign.com. Uh, NoviSign is a cloud-based interface that lets you create um, your content. Um, to get started, I'm here on NoviSign.com again, and I'm going to select the Login button. Uh, this takes me to our online studio that is used for creating the content. Uh, this Create From Template button um, takes me to the full library of templates that I can browse through and choose to find a layout and customize. And notice here we've got over 200 different options available. All of them are broken down by vertical. We've got here restaurant menu board. So we've got chalkboard style, barbecue menus, quick serve. Um, then it transfers into schools. So templates for elementary, middle school, high school, colleges. We've got here stuff for healthcare, so medical clinics, offices, hospitals, uh, dentists. Then it routes into more menu boards. And then we've got stuff for corporate communications, so employee communications, internal notifications, um, stuff for your lobbies, digital directories. Then we've got your templates for hospitality, so casinos, uh, your hotel lobby. Uh, then we've got here um, more, more uh, menu board templates. And then we've got your events, so like calendar listings, upcoming events, daily events, more menu boards. Um, so as you can see, very large variety. Um, you can also change it to a portrait mode, um, but today I'm just going to quickly put together some content here for uh, from scratch. So here in the middle is the canvas, on the left are the widgets, and on the right here are properties. Um, so in the middle here is the canvas again. This is going to be where I put together my content. So let's start off by choosing a backdrop. So here on the right it says appearance. I'm going to select background. So I can either select a color if I need to customize and put a specific color code, I could copy and paste that here. Or if I wanted to search for a specific backdrop, I can do that as well. Um, so let's say, for example, I want to look for so like the corporate setting. So I simply type in corporate, and it pulls in. Um, this is a stock library of over 500,000 different royalty-free images. Both of them are HD and 4K, which is nice. And so let's just say I'll select this picture here of building, select OK. Now on the left are the widgets, and uh, the widgets are items that you can add onto the screen. So here I can add text, I can add images, I can add videos, I can add a slideshow. So the slideshow would be any combination of images, videos. Um, I can add, uh, add other widgets inside of that, which I'll show you shortly. Uh, we've got here a scrolling ticker, so that would be like left to right, top to bottom, custom uh, notifications, new sales specials, what have you. I've got here RSS feeds, which is going to be a news feed, like a ticker of top headlines, sports, healthcare, what have you. Uh, a media RSS feed, I can add YouTube videos, I can add Ustream, which is basically live um, streaming video. I can add weather reports, I can add a clock, I can add a countdown ticker, I can add shapes, web pages, web images, web videos, FTP, touchscreen, template within template. I can add also Twitter and Instagram feeds, which pull from specific hashtags, users, your account, which is cool. It's real time, syncs in real life. Um, we've got your virtual queues. You can also integrate with Yammer to display your different Yammer boards and internal communications that you have um, via Yammer. Uh, then I have M3 U8 feeds, which is again, another format of live video um, streaming via M3 U8. 
I can incorporate ads from either Adomni or VSTAR, which is basically programmatic advertising exchange, um, which is really cool. Um, we also have a calendar widget that lets you natively integrate with your Office 365. So as you add uh, calendar events to your Office uh, Outlook uh, calendar, it will auto-sync with the screen for real-time updates. Um, we've also got a dashboard widget, which lets you display uh, charts, different metrics, KPIs, um, stuff in that nature. Then we've got here a table widget, which lets you uh, sync up CSV files or Google Sheets in a very nice, clean uh, table format. We have a stop and go widget, which is for retail crowd control, and then also an HTML widget. Um, so let's start off by adding an overlay to this image. Um, so I'm going to drag my shape widget, put it on top. On the right here it says fill. I'm going to put that to black. I can control the opacity, so now it's got some nice contrast going on. Uh, then let's start with something simple, say weather. So I'm going to click and drag my weather widget over. On the right it says location. I can type in where I am. So let's say Chicago. Select my location. I'm going to change that to Fahrenheit. Title format. Now this lets me change the font color. I can change the size. I can change the font. I can make it bold, unbold, left, center, right, what have you. Again, on the bottom here, I can customize the conditions as well. So if I select format, I can put that white, so now you can see it. Again, I can change the font size and style. If I don't want the conditions, simply uncheck them. So notice how it's a very simple, flexible, freeform design tool. It gives me a lot of customization op options. And it's very, very easy to navigate through. So now I'm going to say add a slideshow. So I'm going to click and drag my slideshow over. Put that there on the right. On the right again here on the properties I can add images videos or text so let's start with an image so if I click the image icon I can select upload and then upload my files at uh, simple file formats we support PNGs JPEGs PowerPoint um, PDFs all of the standard files you simply upload them by, by clicking the upload button uh, for right now I will just browse through here and grab a couple of slides that I've uh, in uploaded already hit insert then here on the right it says 10, that represents seconds, so I'm going to tell that to rotate through every three. And now I'm adjusting it, and let's say now also I want to add YouTube. So click and drag my YouTube video over, there we go. On the right I can select some predefined channels, or I can copy and paste my YouTube video link there, and it will populate inside. Um, now maybe I wanted to add a, say, a... Um, scrolling ticker. Uh, scrolling ticker is going to be custom text that's scrolling, right? So here on the left it says T for ticker, so I'm going to drag that over, adjust the box, on the right of the properties, so if I hit plus, I can put welcome, first day back from, uh, from vacation, hit OK, I'm going to add one more, Company meeting today at 3 p.m. Okay. And here on the right, again, are the properties for that. So title format is the text. So I'm going to put that to be white so I can see it. I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger. There we go. Same thing with the subtext. Make that a little bit bigger. Put that at white. And hit OK. And if I hit play, I can preview it. I want it to go faster, so speed 10, I'm going to put that at 20. Now I've got that rolling a little bit faster. I can also put an overlay in the backdrop, some color. There we go. So notice how I am quickly putting things together, dragging and dropping and customizing it all within seconds. Now if I hit preview, I've got my slideshow in the upper left. Yeah, my YouTube video that's the playing, and I've got my scrolling to right. So all in all, it's very, very quick and easy to put things together. And if I want to save it, hit save. It's very, very quick, very, very simple. Um, now the next part is going to be playlists. And basically playlists is going to be step two. So if I select the playlist button, I click select new playlist and this is going to be the sequence of items um, that I want to uh, play on my TV. 
So I'm going to type in TV1. That's going to be the name. It's safe for the front lobby. So front lobby. Then on the left here are the different templates that I've made. And if I want to add them, simply put my mouse over, hit the plus. And then if I want to add a second one, hit the plus. And we've got little thumbnails. And notice here, lower left, it says 10 seconds. So that's how long you want it to play. So if you want the first one to play for 20 seconds, type in 20. If you want the second one to play for 3 seconds, type in 3. Very simple. Another thing is doing this, the scheduling component. So if I want the second piece to play on a specific time, date, or anything like that, Put my mouse over it, hit the calendar, brings me some control options. So I can set it to play on a specific time, start and stop. So I can tell it to start on the 17th, stop on the 18th. I can drill it down by time. So if I want it to start at 537 and then stop at 637, I can do that. Or if I want it to play in specific times and days, recurring, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock every day, or if I want it to play from 7 um, say 7 to 8 on Fridays and Tuesdays, I can do that as well. So this gives me, gives me very nice granular control over when each template plays. Um, if you have a menu board and you want to, say, set up day parting, so you want your breakfast menu, lunch menu, dinner menu, you would use um, this Play Forever recurring feature, uh, and um, it gives you lots of control and flexibility over your playlist, and you hit OK, and then hit Create. There you've got your playlist made. Um, then this button here that says screens. Screens is basically going to be the media player slash uh, TV, right, that you've got um, deployed. So I'm going to hit new screen. I'm going to name it TV One Front Lobby. Okay. On the left here it says TV One Front Lobby. I'm going to assign that playlist and hit create. That's it. So from a software standpoint, you would use uh, Novisign.com to put together your content. You can try Novisign out free for 30 days by simply selecting the open account button and you can sign up. There's a full free 30 day trial available. No credit cards are needed. This gives you a nice opportunity, no strings attached to get your feet wet, test it out, try it out, play with it, see how you like it. Um, we have full online training, tutorials, videos. We also have Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time phone support, 24-7 email help desk. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can email info at Thank you.